as Jackson police investigate the shooting deaths of two children. Tonight, 911 calls give us new insight into that horrific moment. And also tonight, the Jackson County coroner is calling the shooting a murder-suicide. Police say a 12-year-old shot his 9-year-old half-brother and then turned the gun on himself inside their grandparents' home on East South Street. 10, 10 TV's Daniel Elias is in uh, Jackson tonight with the latest on the investigation. The chief now tells me the grandparents were at a local hospital, the grandmother getting knee surgery. He says they talked to the boys at 9 o'clock yesterday morning, and they came home at 11 to find the tragedy. 9-year-old and 12-year-old dead. They said they just come home, found them 38 East South. A dispatcher sending help Wednesday after a grandfather calls 911, saying he came home to find his grandsons dead. And now we're learning from the Jackson County coroner that the older brother shot the younger one in the head, then turned the gun on himself. Jackson's police chief says nine-year-old Blake Campbell and 12-year-old Austin Wiseman were found together in a back upstairs bedroom of the house. Behind the house, a hair salon. Ellen Berger says she was at work at the time, but never heard the gunshots. I can't imagine, as a parent myself, I can't imagine anything like that. That would be the worst fear, nightmare, whatever. It's just horrible. She says she looked outside and saw the crime tape. Communities hit pretty hard. Everybody I've talked to is just floored. They, you know, everybody has kids. You know, we all have kids that go to school together. She soon found out her daughter was in the same sixth grade class as Wiseman. You know, she couldn't believe somebody that young, you know, is dead and somebody that she sees in school and, you know, and now she won't ever see him again. We tried to speak with the family today, and although they are now home, they said it was still too early to talk. Police say the investigation is still underway. In Jackson, Danielle Elias, 10 TV News. And the juvenile judge in Jackson County tells us neither child had any kind of criminal history.